Hello everyone, welcome to Catherine's Creatures. This is episode 14. In this series, we talk about mythological beast beings and the like, pulled from lore from all around the world. And I always like to preface by saying I'm not a linguist, so if I mispronounce anything, it is not my intent. I am trying my best and I hope I don't offend anybody else. Uh, this week, we're going to, over to the Norse mythology. And I just want you to take a moment and think about what life might have been like in Scandinavia, Scandinavia during the Viking era um, and the value of animals and trying to farm land that was hard. <laughs> it was hard on the people to grow crops and raise animals. And so something like a horse is very important and a... Um, almost an item of esteem for those of wealth and worth. So I wanted to actually talk about today one of the horses from Nordic mythology and not the more famous one of Sleipnir, the eight-legged uh, stallion of Odin, but a rather obscure one which is closer to my heart. And this one is named Gullfaxi. And this was a golden stallion uh, think very blonde or again, it was actually the tr name translates to gold mane. So this very yellow, shiny, uh, shimmering horse. And in Norse mythology, it was owned originally by a Jotun, so one of the giants named Hrugnir. And during this time that Hrugnir owned the stallion Gullfaxi, uh, Thor does what Thor does best and comes and attacks Hrugnir. Now, uh, the story, as the story goes, Hrugnir falls upon Thor and Thor is pinned to the ground and unable to get up. And during this time, one of his sons comes to help. His name is Magni. And uh, this son helps lift the leg of the giant off of Thor to allow his dad to get up and free himself. And because his son helped him do this, he gifts, Thor gifts his son, Gullfaxi. Now, unfortunately, Magni is an illegitimate son um, between Thor and another Jotun, so another giantess. And so when Odin, the Allfather, finds out that this mighty, magnificent stallion was given to Thor's son, he gets angry and chastises Thor and saying, no, you, by right of the father, should have owned the horse. And so the story goes that Odin was not pleased with this exchange of the stallion. But uh, though Gulf actually doesn't have a lot of information written about him in the old sagas and Eddas and epics of that time, he has been referenced several times since then in a little more modern myth, um, including some Icelandic folk tales and a collection of English fairy tales and even, even uh, more modern today, I think he was utilized in uh, Final Fantasy as a horse in that video game series. But for me, again, I have a high affinity for the stallion, in particular because I use the name and the concept of his look to mesh with my character, Katie of Earth, uh, from my young adult Portal of Fantasy, The Jet Chronicles, and I actually use Gullfaxi as the mount for my main character, so the heroine of the story. And in my version, kind of tying in with Thor and everything, he uh, is an elemental steed that also exudes lightning at will. But uh, it's fun to see how older myth evolves in a modern era and what continues to stay true, what changes, and what unfortunately is forgotten over the years. But that's my tale of the day. And if you have any questions for me pertaining to this or anything else, post them in the comments below or message me on any of my social media. And until next time, Skull.